Welcome to this video. Um, F4, so the Grand Prix attack. What I like to do here is playing uh, d5, and um, normally white exchanges here. What we get now is some form of a French defense structure, but we have um, the pawn outside of this pawn chain. Normally in the French defense you have the bishop here. Um, he didn't play d4 though, so let's just uh, develop here our queenside pieces first because it's um, this is the best square for the knight, obviously. Um, here I'm not that sure where to put my pieces to. I might play something like um, h5 even and knight h6 to take control of the g4 square. And uh, what I can also do is I'm uh, playing f6 sooner or later to attack the center here. I think I play h5 first and I'm gaining some space here. h4, bishop e7. I don't want him to play um, knight h4. So this is why I played, uh, played this. Um, d4, does he really want to play d4 now? Just wasting a bit of time. So here we go. So um, also one alternative might be um, playing bishop g4 and knight f5. Um, yeah, why not? I even like I'd like to provoke him if he might weaken uh, the kingside position. I doubt that he will play something like h3, and the square g3 would be so weak. I can uh, try something like knight f5, knight g3 here. Um, <laughs> what about knight f5? If he takes, I can take on e3. But I also have the idea of knight g3. Takes, takes, but it doesn't work. But um, knight f5 works. This is a nice square for my knight. And I get rid of, uh, of this bishop. Hmm. If he plays bishop f2 here, I might play knight g3 anyway. Yeah, so the idea is always in the air, knight g3. The, uh, the king is uh, not that safe here, and this rook might, might be very dangerous once this pawn is not here anymore. So, yeah, knight g3 is put possible. Um, let's say knight g3. Take, take. h3, can I sacrifice here? I think it's not enough. Hmm. Yeah. Again, okay, knight g3, take, take, check. He needs to play knight h3. If I take the knight, Then I take the rook check, he plays king g2, and I don't see how I can win this. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't work, I guess. So I keep this, this idea here. Maybe I can use a d5 square also for my queen. Hmm. If I force him, like, let's say knight d5, and he plays this knight to f3, I could play knight g3 again, and uh, winning at least the exchange. Okay, let's try something like this. What I can also do is uh, just, you know, castling long, putting the rook here on h6 and the other one on h8 and 
trying to further attack him. Okay, so um, yeah, let's do this. And then maybe f6. I need to need to break up something here. You can try to play something like b4 and uh, attack me here on the queen side, but as you can see, there are almost no pieces at all on the queen side, so I doubt that one attack of him might be uh, successful here. Um, Okay, let's double up the rooks now. I think rather on the G file. Maybe I can really pli try something like E5, Knight E5. Yeah, I need to do something here in the center. And the Knight on E5 would be nice. Can jump to uh, H4, E3. Once there is a knight on e3 without the bishop here, um, I think my position is extremely strong. So now I'm threatening knight g4 and knight e3. Uh huh. Is there a problem with playing knight g4? This knight is protected by my queen. I just need to hurry up. So knight e3 next. Which knight? Um, I think the knight on g4 is better. Mm. Yeah, let's take here first, not to open up the b file. And now this knight here to g4. I'm attacking g2. And I'm also still thinking about something like knight g3. Uh, Okay, this doesn't work anymore. Where does he put his knight to? Um, I, 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 I'm not sure, this knight is also hanging. If I take here um, sooner or later, let's say with the rook, he takes back, I can play um, queen h3 as well, but I want to first put more pressure on g2 by playing rook g8 now. Mm. Now my w another idea is rook g6 and then taking the knight, mating him here on g1. You can see how strong this knight on e3 is. It's taking control of a lot of important squares and he cannot get rid of it. So very nice um, position here. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. He might play knight d5 to get rid of this annoying knight. What about h3, by the way? Okay, here I take and let's see if he goes back. Then the h file would be maybe very dangerous for him. Uh -huh. And here I thought I'd just move my queen to c6 here on this diagonal. So he needs to play knight d5 now. Ah, I missed this one. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this is just now uh, moving pieces very quickly. Let's try to make it more difficult for him here to... Um, I want to support my pawn now. I think he cannot stop it anymore. Because now the other pawn is running.
and um, six seconds. This is a problem, maybe. Ah, oh, I lost on. Uh, I I won on time. Okay, lucky me. Yeah, bad play at the end. Um, I thought I had a good position, but I screwed it up totally. Um, much earlier. Um, this was all. I mean, here I thought my position is very good, but my, maybe I was also too optimistic. Um, yeah, and and White did a good job in simplifying uh, later on, because um, yeah, the more pieces disappear, um, the more my weaknesses uh, come to uh, come to uh, come to play, and um, you can see that uh, when you just look at the pawn structure, White is better. Yes. Um, here three pawns which are all connected and these two pawns where I, I have one two three four pawn islands so to say pawns that are isolated and cannot be protected by other pawns so once um, the the pieces disappear I don't have that much attacking chances anymore and yeah I, I didn't see uh, knight f uh, queen f3 um, and uh, yeah it's I think it's well enough protected, and uh, here in this position, um, I'm not that sure. I mean, these pawns are very strong; they are connected. Um, but yeah, this is an, uh, a strategy you should keep in mind whenever your opponent has good uh, attacking uh, chances. You should try to simplify uh, the position um, to to go to an end game. Thanks a lot for watching.